Welcome back to Worldwide Exchange. Goldman Sachs is looking to make a big splash on Wall Street with its newest hire, but it's not a legendary deal maker. Also, the new hire, not actually human. CNBC banker reporter Hugh Sun breaking a story on Goldman's latest push into artificial intelligence, testing an autonomous software engineer. The program is called Devon, and Goldman tells CNBC it's expected to join the ranks of the bank's 12,000 human developers. Hugh Sun joins us now. Hugh, good morning. Now, that's a pretty interesting story. It's going to raise a lot of eyebrows, as we mentioned. So it's Devon. It's Agentic AI. Why don't we start off with what exactly does a software yeah. developer do at a bank? Yeah. So, uh, Frank, good morning. Good, great to be with you. So, I mean, these are responsible. Uh, these are the people responsible for the code of a bank. They need to make sure that all the ones and zeros obviously flow freely and that they're updating the software so that the bank is competitive. At a place like Goldman Sachs, you can imagine that these are important people. There are about 12,000 of them there. You know, let's just set the table here a little bit. You know, what's happened in the past year is that the biggest players in Wall Street, you think about J.P. Morgan, Goldman, of course, and Morgan Stanley, have all rolled out these open AI-based models to their uh, employees just to get them used to uh, you know, this technology. So it's basically, think of it as ChatGPT for Wall Street, you know, which is really helpful, somewhat limited. So, you know, chat obviously can write an email for you. It can summarize a long document. It can do some research for you. Um, but the leap that is happening, and why I think this is an important story, Frank, is that instead of now just being an assistant, uh, you know, you can go out and ask an AI agent like Devin, um, go out and make me a website with all the videos of Frank Holland on it. And it would go out, it would plan the steps for this, it would write the code, uh, test it and debug it, and come back and say, here it is, Frank, this is your website. Uh, and that's a huge shift, that's called agentic AI. Uh, and it's from a really interesting startup called C Cognition. And I'm frankly surprised that this is uh, the speed at which all of this is happening, Frank. All right, Hugh, you did some really great reporting on this. Uh, you reported that JP Morgan and Morgan Stanley, they've also rolled out um, basically models and assistance based on uh, open AI models or uh, assistance based on open AI models. So exactly where is, um, where's the data coming from for this Goldman? agentic AI system? Is it coming from inside the company? Or are they pulling it from somewhere else? How are they going to train it? Yeah. I mean, this is an interesting uh, case in which, you know, everything up to now has really been pivoting on OpenAI's LLMs, their, their models, large language models, uh, and then pulling them into a, a secure container and then feeding those models onto the proprietary data of, uh, you know, of the banks uh, and that's really where you get the power of this and the efficiencies. Now, in the case of Cognition, I mean, this is a startup. It's been around for 18 months. It's gone from zero to a $4 billion valuation, uh, which is remarkable in 18 months. It's, it's backed by Peter Thiel. Uh, and so, you know, this is a case in which they're going to be taking uh, this amazing uh, sort of reasoning model from Cognition and applying it to their own uh, their own data sets. And, and so I think the combination of this outside, you know, uh, reasoning engine from cognition and the proprietary Goldman data is where the magic happens.